بِاسْمِ رَبِّكَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ خَلَقَ الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ عَلَقٍ Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Ramadan Time. Sumi is not feeling very well today, so she's not going to say much. I hope everybody is doing good deeds, um, doing dhikr, doing ibadat, and doing so many other things just like fasting. Love for others is one of the good deeds that you could do. So if you want things such as good food, good clothes, good gifts, then you should choose for others what you choose for yourself. If you want to be treated nicely, we should treat others nicely. We should not wish that we have all of these nice things and they do not have any. That is not a sign of a true believer. Let's move on to the good deed of the day. The good deed of the day. Take care of your body. Pamper yourself after a long day of fasting with a relaxing bath or cup of tea and the recitation of the Quran from your favourite reciter. So, Samiha, you know that the Prophet Muhammad said, Verily, your body has a right over you. Let's move on to Hadith. An Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu, an in Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Kala, la yadukhulu al jannata, man kana fi kalbihi mithkalu, darratim min kibr. Kala rajulun in a rajula, yohibu, a yakuna, thawbuhu hasanan, wana luhu hasana. Kala, in Allah jamilun, yohibu al jamal al kibru. Narrated Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu anhu, Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, He who has in his heart a grain of arrogance will not enter paradise. Someone said, How about a person who likes to wear beautiful clothes and shoes? Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, all of Allah's affairs are beautiful and he likes beauty. Arrogance means ridiculing and rejecting the truth and despising people. Let's have a look at the lessons of this hadith. Number one, we should not be arrogant and have hatred towards other people. Number two, we should always make sure that what we use and wear is clean and beautiful. Number three, Allah loves it when we keep ourselves, our home, our streets, our schools and our gardens clean and beautiful. Number four, real arrogance is when we argue against the truth of Allah. So we should never argue against the truth of Allah, okay? Let's move on to the discussion section. Number one, discuss some ways that we can help our parents to keep our bedroom and home clean and beautiful. So, how can we help our parents to clean our bedroom and keep the home beautiful? How can you do that? Um. We can clean our bedrooms by ourselves. And sometimes you could also clean your parents' bedroom as well. Because that is helping them. They won't have to do it because you've already done it. And after you finish the toys, you should tidy it up. Try to tidy up and organise as much as you can so that your parents don't have to do it. Number two, can we show off and be arrogant towards our friends? No, that's bad. Number three, how can we keep our own bodies clean every day? How can we keep our bodies clean? Mm, I forgot. <laughs> we can take showers, okay? So if you clean your body and put water over it, taking a shower, then that is good because your body is going to stay clean. Number four, are we allowed to dirty the environment, streets, public areas, even if it is not in our own home? Yeah, no, that's bad. Because when we dirty it, then the environment is going to be messy and it's not going to be clean. 
We don't want that to happen, do we? No. Now that we've finished Hadith, let's move on to Surah Learning Time. So, Samiha, yesterday I taught you Surah Al-Feel. Can you say it by yourself now? Start with A'udhu Billah. Mm, sick. <laughs> you can say it. If you read more Quran when you're sick, then you'll get lots of rewards. Start with the A'udhu Billah. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. Bismillahi Rahman Rajeem. Louder, please. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. Bismillahi Rahman Rajeem. Alam Tara. Alam Tara Kaifa Fa'at. Can you say it again without me saying the beginning for you? Okay, start. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim Alam tarkei fafa'al rabbu kabi ashab al-feel Alam yajal kaydohum fi tajali Wa'atsa alayhim tarin al-babi Tarmihim bihi jarajim min ziddi Rajanuhum wasfim makhul Well done Samiha, mashallah I'm very very happy with you you said it. Now, tomorrow, we're going to say Surah al humaza okay? Okay. Now, we're going to end the video. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Say assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Iqra' <laughs> bismi